Welcome and congratulations to the winners of the relay competition men. First position Norway, second position France and third position Germany. Lars, Elge, can you tell us about your leg and the conditions? Uh, yeah, the conditions was uh, perfect I think. and. Uh, uh, yeah, my leg uh, was not so good. It, I have three misses in the prone and uh, good standing shooting and uh, heavy legs in the last loop. But uh, yeah, <laughs> it went out fine <laughs> in the end. Alan, you changed over after your leg to Johannes Fifth, satisfied with your performance today and also the last days, and that you secured your position in the World Champions team? Uh, yeah. Can you repeat that, please? <laughs> you changed over after your leg to Johannes Fifth, satisfied with your performance today and in a general here in Presque Isle, and that you secured your position in the team for the World Championships? Uh, yeah, I'm very satisfied with my uh, performances uh, here in Presque Isle, and uh, of course, I also think I uh, really <laughs> secured or and. Uh, uh, yeah, made no doubt that I belong in the world uh, world championship team. So, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm really happy with this week. Johannes, you brought the Norwegian rally with an incredible running and shooting in front. Do you have the feeling you are coming now at the right moment close to your top form? And would you wish world championship would start tomorrow? Yeah, when I start uh, after a bad leg from Bjöntegor, I was so far behind I had to just push from the start uh, and I managed to get in front and uh, sent Tarjai to his last leg. Uh, it was easy for him and uh, of course I wish that this was the World Championships, uh, then I would be standing here with three medals, so uh, yeah. But I think you are waiting for a bigger crowd also, huh? There and the Norwegian. Yeah, we are looking forward to come uh, to come back uh, to Norway, and uh, we want to show everyone uh, uh, great World Championships, and we hope to to broadcast to all of Europe uh, nice pictures of uh, our main capital in Norway. Taje, <laughs> 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 for sure. School? For sure it was a great advertising here before the World Championships. Now you have in the statistics from this season four starts, four podium, two wins with the relay and now even missing with Emil and Ole Einar. So top favorites for the World Championship relay. How is your feeling? Uh, I don't know what to say uh, about this, about favorites, but uh yeah, I think this year, so far in the relays, it's it's been yeah, Russia and, and uh, Norway maybe who's been the the best ones. But it's so close. Both France and Germany are are also so close, uh, and we know that we have to do our best. Um, last year, German uh, Germany won, and of course we want to take it back. But we know Russia with yeah, Shipulin has been maybe the best relay athlete this year. He's been amazing, so we know we have to take out our, our best to, to beat them. Second place for France. Simon, second time podium in relay for France, but with an incredible shooting performance of just two misses. Have you expected this today? Um, I don't know if we expected this before, but uh, we work for it and uh, it's what we want to do all the time. Sometimes it works better than others, so today one was one of this time. Shogium, today you showed great team spirit also again and a good performance of the whole team, also without Mata. Have you thought you could manage second place in this field today? We didn't think about the position, the final position, but the four French guys here, um, we were fighting for qualification for the World Champs because uh, only three of us will be in the World Champs, in the relay of the World Champs, so we all wanted to make a good performance today to, to try to get the qualification for the relay in the World Champs. So um, that, uh, the, we did a good, good shooting performance, and, but uh, that will not be enough. Third for the German team. Can you hand over? Thank you. Eric, before we come to the competition today, can you tell us how Arndt is doing? Arndt is fine. He came back from hospital yesterday afternoon. He can speak. 
he's breathing. <laughs> uh, he tried to eat in the, in the dinner. In the morning after, after breakfast, he had some, some stomach problems, but uh, overall he's good. He can uh, do some fun, can walk around, only the neck is a bit, bit heavy for him. But after this crash, everybody's happy about his, uh, his strong body. Okay. Andy, great start for Eric uh, with zero misses. Uh, then problem at the range for you. Then Aniel, finally 11 misses. How do you feel about that? Yeah, it was not good shooting for me and Daniel too. We think the same, uh, especially in the prone shooting. Um, that was not normal. I had a good feeling on shooting, but the misses were on the right side. And uh, after two misses, I, I put my diopter in the right direction. And then I get the, the other one, but uh, it was not good. And uh, so maybe next time it will be better. Hope so. Eric, you had a very uh, strong start, also zero misses, great running. Uh, then you could watch a little bit the ongoing uh, race. After the third exchange being six, uh, have you thought that uh, Benedict could catch Russia? And the uh, third position? Uh, actually, no. But I know that uh, Benny's in a good shape, really good, good shape. And if he's in uh, beast mode, nobody can stop him. <laughs> Maybe some Norwegian guys. But um, he's really strong, especially in the last lap. Uh, and uh, if you saw that he's only 15 seconds behind uh, Svetkov, then we know it could be uh, possible for the podium. So he's a really, really good guy. Okay. Do we have questions? No. Nope. Thank you very much.